look wherever you want. As long as I've been around Cleveland Wrestling, I've known Johnny Gargano, and it was uh, pretty cool because I saw him go from basically a fat 15-year-old kid that used to hang around training uh, to becoming one of the best wrestlers in the world. And that evolution has been uh, remarkable to watch, and it's been remarkable to, to, to be a part of it. You know, I, I feel like just the small hand I've had in, in trying to help Johnny become a better wrestler and watching him go on to become infinitely better than I ever was, uh, it's, it's just fun to watch. And, you know, he's become an institution in Cleveland. Um, his contributions as far as the matches, the attentions he's brought to Cleveland and AIW uh, in general have been remarkable. Um, you know, I, I was never good enough to make it, so it's just so cool to see somebody from our hometown, somebody that uh, is a good guy, a genuinely good guy, a guy you want to see be successful, uh, go on to make it. Um, and again, it's, it's just uh, so encouraging to see how much his hard work has paid off because he had a passion for wrestling that really uh, very few guys actually have. Uh, and it shows. It shows in his matches, and I think that's why he's able to connect with the crowd so well because you can't fake passion, and Johnny's got it. And I know his gimmick is that he's all heart, but that's that's not even really a gimmick. That's, that's really Johnny Gargano. Sure, oh, no, 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 no. I haven't done it for the past year to just disappear. No, no, no. 
And he actually wants to do this one. Yeah. All right. I just want. I, hey, I just had to make sure because there's no. He has no instructions. I know. <laughs> no instruction what, manual for that one. Yeah, I mean, he tells he me all the time. Do. He does what he wants to do. He's like all through. He gets creative. Yeah. <laughs> works. But like that's why there's no finish. That's why there's no time limit. Let's go nothing. forever. That's why there's no whatever else. You guys are going two minutes. Going two minutes. We're going two minutes. I'm a little pissed, great. Gargano was always like the utility guy, the go-to guy. It's just like, this stuff might not be good, this might be whatever, but like Gargano was always going to deliver. And it's just, it's kind of a weird feeling to think like, in a couple weeks, like, we don't we don't have that anymore. It's just like, it's, a, it's, I, I, it's a weird feeling, honestly, like, I don't want to say it's just like, I feel like somebody is, it's almost like somebody has died or something like that because I feel like I'm losing something so important that a lot of people don't probably understand how important Gargano has been to the success of this company. From 2005 until 2016, he's never asked for more money, he's never done anything because he wanted to make something mean something in Cleveland. And because there was such a void, like, you know, you hear about the East Coast and you hear about the, you know, the West Coast and you hear about the UK and Japan and all these different places, but Cleveland never had that thing that was like, this is where you go to see wrestling. And that was so important to Johnny. Like, he never wanted money, he never wanted anything. He just wanted something sustainable in Cleveland to where, People knew that when you go to Cleveland and you want to see good wrestling, you come to Ada. And for all the work that he's done for no, no, basically no money, like that is something that you're forever indebted to. Like, uh, especially me, because you know Johnny Gargano could have came and he could have asked for any amount of money or anything, and we would have given it to him because he's one of the best professional wrestlers available on the planet. But he didn't care about that. He cared about making something mean something in Cleveland, Ohio. And that is just, I, it's, hard to, it's hard for me to put in words. Yo, what are your final thoughts, man? You're about to have your last independent match. Like, know. literally in two seconds. I don't know. I don't know. Don't feel anything yet. I'll know as, uh, as soon as my music hits, I think. It just feels like it's normal right now. It doesn't feel like it's the last one. I'm sure when it's over, it'll feel like the last one. I think. I don't know, I've never done this before. I think I've almost thrown up a few times. I don't get super nervous anymore, but I, this is the most nervous I've been in a long time. And I really wasn't expecting to be his last match, but the fact that I am, like, I don't know, I'm about to have an anxiety attack. So it's like, oh, this little tiny hot room right here, and it's really hot, right? Or am I just really having an anxiety? It's, it's not just hot, you. it's just me. I thought he was kidding when he said I was gonna be his last match, so. I don't know, I, I kind of feel like it did about a week ago when we were getting married where it just felt like two kids going to play wrestling and then our parents came to watch us and it didn't actually sink in until after so I don't know that it's going to fully sink in other than the anxiety. So, and I'm going to be really sad to be by myself. You just made me so depressed now. I'm, I'm so happy for him. Um, I know that it's a lot of work. Um, I we're, We both have the same dream. And so we both work very hard and he's maybe the most inspiring person that I know. And a lot of what I have right now is because he inspired me to work so much harder than I already was. So it's just, he really deserves it. He really does. I don't know what I would tell him. But then stop making me, I'm glad that this is the last time I'm gonna be a nervous wreck before wrestling because I'm about to go vomit in that toilet over there. But uh, aside from that, I'm very thankful that he picked me 
to, of all the people in the world he could have wrestled, he picked me. So, forever grateful for this.
My main objective in pro wrestling is to give you all a good experience. Whether you're buying a t-shirt from me over there, you're seeing me in this ring, my main objective is for you people to leave and say, that Johnny Gargano is a, is a good wrestler, but he's a great dude. I think that is more important than being a good wrestler. It's just being a great human being and doing whatever you can to help you. You guys will always be like family to me.